What's going on guys? So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of something quite fancy and that is the Hakko FX Triple Eight D and this is sort of Hakko's entry level soldering station. It's temperature controlled and everything and it takes interchangeable tips and everything which is quite nice. I also bought it with some, I ordered it from a, a local company called Mactronics. They supply lab equipment and everything and soldering equipment and everything to various different businesses and stuff. So yeah, let's just get started. It's a bit quick one. I bought it with some... So we've got some multi-core solder here. It's not the multi-core brand, which is kind of odd, but it is 0.46 millimeters, and yeah, so it should be pretty good. And I also got it with some different tips. I got a tip kit with it. So this comes with various different tips so we'll just quickly go through them so here's this one here it's shape B I'm not sure how they sort of organize how the tips are labeled and everything but this is just a big conical tip I don't really want to use that one uh, this one's a chisel tip now I did buy some cheap ones on eBay and just looking at this straight away these are definitely a lot nicer the plating on the end here is a lot more professional looking and doesn't look like it's gonna flake off anytime soon. Uh, this one's a big chisel tip. It's the shape 1.6D, so it's probably 1.6 millimeters with a chisel on the end, double-sided chisel. Then we have the 0.08D, so another chisel tip, I believe. Maybe, it's kind of hard to see. I think that's a chisel tip. Yeah, it's got a sort of a squared end on it, but it doesn't really look too chiseled. And then we have a really big one here, another chisel tip. That is the 3.2D, so probably 3.2 diameter or something. Uh, millimeters on the tip there, and it's quite chunky. So, get those out of the way. And we'll take a look at the station itself, which is the most interesting part of this video. And sorry about the poor lighting and everything. This was just a quick one. The thing is I unboxed my other soldering station ages ago, the cheap Chinese one, so I thought I'd do this one anyway. So, uh, just user's manual, or instruction manuals with the setup guide and everything. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, this one. Yeah, this is the Australian version of the unit, so it's a bit more expensive than the US one, which I think retails for about 80. This one retails for about 200 and something. I don't know why, um, it's just got a different power supply, that's it. That's the only difference is the power supply. I got this one on sale for 165. So, got a little bit of discount on it. So first up in the box here, let's throw that away. We've got the fancy iron. And just holding this just quickly, it does feel a lot nicer than the cheap Chinese one I was using. And that's just the part number on it if you're interested. And it does come with a tip, it comes with the sort of smaller conical tip they're not super useful the plating on it looks a bit funny though just try and focus that yeah the plating looks a bit ah, kind of chunky strange it's a nice little iron looks like it's got a fairly decent length cord and the cord has a lot of a lot of flexibility to it so it shouldn't get tangled up on things and uses the exact same tip sort of mechanism as the cheap one does so i'll probably need some pliers to undo this but this should just unscrew, this whole cover should slide off and then the tip just goes over the top of the element. Pretty straightforward. And then in the box we've got our brass cleaning wire which is very handy. You can buy those uh, little kitchen sponge things as well if you're on a budget but I think this is a bit different. I think this is actually brass where the other ones are just aluminium or steel. And then we have the base, and it does come with a little sponge. I like using the sponge, all the, all the steel wool stuff, which is pretty cool. And this base is a lot nicer than the cheap Chinese one I had. I think it's a, a Yuya, Huya, whatever it is. Just, they're a generic brand. I think they're Aten originally or something. But yeah, this is all, this is all genuine Hakko stuff. I've been promised that it's genuine and it's from a reputable supplier, so. Shouldn't have any issues. If I'm really paranoid, I'll just email Hakko and get them to check the seal number for me. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, it does have little earth symbols there, so I'm assuming I can earth this. If I pop this out, so you can clean this as well because 
inevitably little bits of solder will get sort of fallen down in there when you put the iron away so you can this thing is completely cleanable which is a big plus um, I'll put back to, back, that back together later but yeah it has little earth symbols on here but I can't see any sort of earth point on it so I'm not sure strange maybe maybe you can buy something that clips to the bottom but there's no bare metal on the bottom of here so I don't know how you get a good earth bond with that if you're super paranoid, if you're working with super sensitive electronics, I don't think you'd be using this iron anyway. You'd use a bit, something a bit a bit more professional, one of their bigger thousand dollar machines. And then lastly, we have the station itself. And Mechatronics were silly enough to put their own bloody sticker on it, which I don't like that. I don't like when they put stickers on things. So. That's stuck on there for good. Maybe that's something to do with warranty, but these things have serial numbers. I don't know why they need to do this. It's just annoying. That's stuck on there pretty well. So on the side here, if you can see that. Yeah, it's just got a on-off switch, very basic. And this is the digital version. You can get an analog version if you're not interested, if you want to save probably 20 bucks. I think that's the difference in price. But the analog version does not have any sort of power indicator, so you can leave it on, and that's probably not very good for the element. So this is uh, digital temperature, so it can change the temperature up. I don't know how you turn the temperature down, but I don't know. Maybe I'll look at the manual how to do that. Maybe change the enter or something. Maybe maybe enter resets it, which would be kind of weird. This is quite heavy too. Um, oh, that's pretty neat. Put a little signature on the bottom. Where that guy is? That's my serial number. If you're interested. And yes, so this is 70 watt iron, 240 volts, very nice, and it's got the genuine Hakko sticker on there, and you can see some of the components down in there too, and pretty hefty lead, and obviously this is going to be earthed, the tip should be earthed, um, I might check that later, but guaranteed it's going to be earthed, but yeah, so that was just a very, very quick sort of unboxing, let's move that there, I can't really see what I'm doing, but... Very quick unboxing, very off the cuff and kind of cheap, but sometimes I like watching videos to like this one. So if you like the video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, which I think is a review or something. So yeah, and look at that, isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? And the sponge. The little wire goes in there. So, yeah. See ya.